Hey guys, so the other day I heard somebody say LGBTQ plus A or A plus, whatever the uh, order is, and I was like, I don't actually know what the last few letters stand for. So I googled it, and little did I know that now the most accurate acronym is actually this. And I was just like, damn, that's a lot of letters that I'm not familiar with. And I wrote it down, and I wrote down what each one stands for, and we're going to talk about each one, but look, it's a long ass list. And I'm sure I'm going to get some dislikes on this video for this, but my main point of making this video is, do we really need this many letters? And I don't want to be that hypocritical gay person who, you know, wants inclusion but then says this is too much, this is too many letters, this is too many groups or whatever, but it's just kind of ridiculous, is it not? Let's go through it, tell me what you think. So L is obviously lesbian, G, gay, B, bisexual, T, transgender, most people know that, right? LGBT. Little did I know that the T is followed by another T, which is transsexual. That confused me because I thought transsexual was an insult. I thought you didn't say that to people and that nobody identified as that. That was my understanding. Maybe that's evolved now. I thought transgender was the right thing to say and transsexual is not the thing that you say. Then there's another T, which is for two-spirited. What the fuck does that mean? Two-spirited? What What is this? Like, a nat like, are we Native American now and we're going back to like, I'm connected to my spirit animal? Like, what the, what the hell does that mean, two-spirited? Then it's followed by Q for queer, which I think is what that original Q stands for in LGBTQ. I also don't understand this word. If you're queer, doesn't that also, is that synonymous with all the other letters that we just described? Isn't queer like an umbrella for anybody who is in this bubble? I don't even, I don't think I've ever met anybody who identifies as queer but not gay or not any of the other labels. But okay, the next letter is another Q, which is questioning. You're just gay. We all know that person who, you know, was straight and then they were bisexual for a little bit and now they're just the biggest homo. It's, you're gay. You're gay, you're lesbian, you're one of the other things. You're not really questioning. Maybe you're questioning for these five minutes, but come on. Then it's I for intersex. Now this one I can't like argue with because that is a biological thing, right? To, I guess, have some parts that are male physically and then some parts that are um, female. Uh, but interesting that that isn't included in the shorter version of LGBT um, or LGBTQ. Uh, but all right, let's throw let's throw the intersex community in there. Sure. Then there's A for asexual. Again, I'm pretty sure that you just are gay, but are too ashamed to be it, or you're afraid to have sex, or something along those lines. I've had my moments where I'm like, I don't want to think about men. I don't want to think about sex. But I know that I'm not asexual. I just I'm annoyed by gay men for like 10 minutes and then I move on. And then the final A is ally. Absolutely not. You're just straight. Okay, you're just straight. Stay in your little straight bubble. Thanks for like, you know, caring about gay people, but like, as long as gay people are still getting bullied in school and there are laws discriminating against us, like, I don't feel like including the general population of straight people who are fine with us in this bubble. So there you have it, L-G-B-T-T-T-Q-Q-I-A-A. -A. It's a mouthful. I want to know if you guys agree with me that this is like a little ridiculous. I mean, I appreciate the thought that it's all-inclusive, but it feels a little overdramatic to me, like a little self-indulgent. I want to start a new term. Can we start a new term? that just houses everything. Just homo, how about homo? I like homo, we can just stick to homo. But then I guess that doesn't include trans people. How about homo and T? And, and the picture can be like a guy like this with, with a <laughs> sipping tea, homo and T. That includes everybody, does it not? I'm pretty sure that includes just about everybody.